Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Side News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a quick video on Oscar Limblom going to the San Jose Sharks after getting bought out by the Philadelphia Flyers. It doesn't take long as Limblom latches on for two years due to club policy. The terms of the deal were not disclosed yet, but according to Mike Greer, he said that Oscar Limblom is a proven forward who can provide offensive upside in the middle of our lineup. He has overcome significant obstacles in his young career, and his strength and desire to play hockey is immeasurable. We are happy to have him join our organization. Last year in 79 games, he scored 26 points, 12 goals, and 14 apples, and at 22 penalty minutes with the Philadelphia Flyers. I think Oscar Lindblom is going to have good success there in San Jose. I said it um, the last time I did a video on Lindblom when the Flyers got rid of him. I still think he's going to have great success going forward, and his best hockey is still ahead of him. That's why I understand the business decision to get rid of him. But obviously, if they just make the moves of Delorier and <laughs> Justin Braun, then I don't understand it. But from the business side, I understood it. It actually is coming in now uh, that the cap hit is $2.5 million, according to Cap Friendly. So that is disclosed now, according to Cap Friendly. And I think that's a perfect cap hit for Oscar Limblom for two years. You're going to get a steal from that. Because if he's completely healthy this year, he only had 26 points last year to kind of tie Nick Bonino and the Noah Gregors of the world. I expect him to be in the 40-something points this year and be able to slide between your second and third line. And I think he's really going to help that team to be a Swiss Army Knife player that even if Barbanov, um, if, or Barbanov, if he's still on the first line and Meyer, if they struggle or LeBlanc struggles, you can move him up. And I think it gives you a lot more options there. I still think they are probably looking to add another forward into that mix. Because even after getting rid of um, Burns, I would say they're with Ferraro, Carlson, Vlasic, Merkley, Semek, and Megna all healthy. They are still pretty weak at the forward core, unless if Bordalo or some of those guys are really ready to come up this year, like Raska as well, uh, some Levesky, um, Scott Reedy, who actually played 35 games this year, so he's a guy that you would think would make the team off of the jump. I think they're getting this forward core to come together. They don't have anybody that's like an overly sexy name minus Timu Meyer left on that forward core, but I think Limblom has a chance to make all-star games in the future. He's just entering his prime age. He's in his now a few years removed, this would be his third year removed coming back from the cancer diagnosis. So I think this is the year I really expect him to kind of hit the ground running again. It's going to be interesting to see where his points might get capped because um, Gregor's a good developing player and Benino's a solid veteran, but obviously those guys aren't the best playmakers compared to if they put him with Logan Couture and LeBlanc more. So I think that might also affect what his total point share can be. But I do think he's going to fit in, and for the reported only 2.5, and obviously from the quote I read, Mike Greer is very fond to have him on the team. I give this move an A. I think it's a good move. Oscar Lindblom is going to fit in with the Sharks. They just need to add more, obviously, other than just that around, and probably add a couple more guys to the forward court, and probably one defenseman to replace the fact that they got rid of Brett Burns. But peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please and subscribe down below. Up above on the East Jews widget to keep the channel growing to the goal of 300 or more. That is our next goal. Peace out, everybody.